Welcome, everybody. Hope all is well. Um, I don't think we've done a a, uh, a chat on the stage. Um, I don't think I've done that on my Discord. Um, certainly haven't done it here since it's new. Um, so I'm not, I don't remember, I'm not familiar uh i'm not familiar with like can you react or anything are you guys do you guys have reactions <laughs> yeah it's not looking like i can see them if you do um so we got joe already here joe's sorting out his audio um dave is on the way i think he's he's trying to log in but he, he just set up his account so uh we're getting him in here um if you guys do have questions um, right next to the stage uh, in the uh, questions for LP section. Uh, you can drop those questions in there and we're going to be answering those, talking about loss, talking about the 20th anniversary of Meteora. Um, and uh, I don't know, whatever else you guys want to talk about. Um, I'm going to shut this mic off for one more second just to, to see how we're doing with Dave and, and, and Joe. And uh, I'll be right back. Right, I think I can hear Dave. Dave, you in here? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, man. We still don't have Joe. Joe is. I can see him. He's he's in the he's in the chat. Um, he's on the stage, but we just don't have audio yet. So it might be a. I'm not sure if that's like a hardware thing or whatever. Um, we'll get him. We'll get him soon. We'll get him eventually. Dave, just so you know, I, you can like um, while you're like logged into the stage, you can also click on like general chat you can also click on click on questions for lp and like actually type in there if you want to um i'm actually for those of you guys who are listening i'm over in the general chat as well uh while we do this and um i will get we're going to be reading some uh, questions from the um band q a questions for lp section as well so it's a lot of multitasking here i think um dave how was your birthday first of all it was uh it was pretty pretty solid um, pretty solid you know my birthday is usually just it's usually just things for your birthday is most of my birthday is um you didn't have the grammys didn't sit on top of your birthday this year Yeah, that that's usually a highlight of my year is when the Grammys fall on my birthday. You know that, Mike. <laughs> it's kind uh, of be celebrating appropriately. Wink, wink. Hey, uh, they're saying that uh, it sounds to me too like the connection is a little a little funky. Are you on Wi-Fi? Are you are you out and about? Give me like two minutes. I'll get it fixed. I'm, I'm having a little bit of an issue with my thing here, but I'll, I'll, I'll get, it'll get, I'll get it fixed. Okay, cool. Um, the chat and general chat is saying happy birthday, Dave. Um, the whole chat is saying, I think there's like, there are thousands of people. Um, thanks for that. You guys, we're at 2,700 in the audience for the stage. That's amazing. Um, and we have a lot, a lot of questions in the questions for LP. So I'm going to just kind of, kind of, 
Uh, since my audio is working, I'm just going to kind of randomly pick a couple. I'm literally just scrolling through questions for LP on my phone and I'm just going to stop and like whatever shows up on my screen, I'm going to answer that. So, um, cause there's way too many questions to actually answer all of them. Um, let's see, J, J, okay, but I can't, you, you're, the name is crazy here. J Rod Hay Bear. 0917 jrod hey bear dot bat asks uh what our favorite demos from meteora so the stuff is that's included in meteora 20. okay so so just let me backtrack before i answer that question um meteor 20 is coming out oh god i'm losing the not the date uh april beginning of april and um yeah. the uh you know it's like seven it's like five records, three DVDs, four CDs, a book, there's art, there's stickers, there's pencil. Um, it's a huge package. It's like such a great um, shout out real quick to the folks at Warner Brothers, to Ryan and Trish, to Alex, to Frank Maddox uh, for doing all this art. Uh, shout out to Boris uh, De Delta, who did the... Um, He's the the guy on the he's Meteora man. But Boris was the guy that did the kind of like geometric um painting on the cover of Meteora. Um they, you know, everybody put in a lot of work uh getting all this stuff together, helping find, you know, old demos, old old uh footage. Oh, and shout out to Mark Fiore too for for editing um an incredible like behind the scenes documentary for this thing um really cool my favorite thing okay so my favorite things in the package this is just me and dave if you can hear me uh you can you can follow up with yours i, I my favorite things in the package are first of all the 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 documentary thing like the the, the 90 minute um it's like basically clips of us on tour and some of it is like extended clips of things you might have seen from LPTV like you you know if there was like a 30 or 90 second clip on LPTV this 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 gives you like the full like 5 minutes of whatever that clip was but it's like there's also just all this other stuff that you guys never seen so super super fun um and then in terms of the demos there is a there is a one album in its box set called the lost demos and there are a bunch of demos on there there's like stuff that became other songs there's stuff that didn't become other songs and you guys haven't heard those and um and there's stuff with vocals so excited for you to hear not only lost which just came out this morning but um a couple of those other songs keep an ear out for uh fighting myself i think is one that i would recommend you check out dave you ha you there can you hear us is it, you have any uh thing to add all right can you hear me yeah i've been like i'm in a i'm in a wrestling match right now with technology and i think i'm losing I think you just I think you just pulled up in front though. I think I'm you just got ahead. Fine. You sound hey, way is there better. A speakerphone setting on the on this app? Is what? How, I can put speaker this on phone? speakerphone. Oh, were it's you on set. headphones? No, I'm I tried it on my computer and then the mic's not working and then so I switched back to my phone, but now I can't I can't hear anything. We're gonna get the hang of this, guys. We're gonna figure this out. Now I know why it's called Discord. <laughs> well, the good news is you both sound great and we can hear both of you. So this helps me out a lot so What's that I'm not just news? the one here just blabbering. <laughs> <laughs> is there any bad news at this point? No, there's no bad news. The chat is very happy they can hear you both. Um, okay, guys. 
Let's see. We've got some questions. I, I'm just going to pick a couple of questions um, from from the the uh, questions for LP uh, channel. Um, do we know how many songs on the Lost Demos have vocals? Do we know? I think there's there's at least there's vocals on at least four, maybe a bunch more that have like pieces of vocals or things that turned into like songs from Meteora. Yeah, that's, I don't know how many, have, I mean, I feel like a, most of them do have vocals, but I can't, I can't remember for sure. How many don't mm. have vocals? I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and listen to it. I'm, they I'm assuming sent all, me, all of them have vocals. They sent me, they sent me a, 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 a like a, a box that they sent me the, the package and I haven't, I'm not allowed to open it because I'm supposed to do a, like an unboxing. They want me to do an unboxing right. on like on Twitch or on social media or something. Um, TBD still figuring that out. But yeah, so it's sitting here in my here in the room with me in a box that I can't, I'm not supposed to open. <laughs> I think there's, yeah. there, there might be a surprise um, dick in there. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> really I always think like this this reminds me of dick the in conversation. A oh, there you go. This reminds me of the conversation whenever there's like questions about particulars where it's just i feel like it's starting to be a setup for me to just make myself look like an idiot where i like can't remember one of our song names or something like that i feel like moving forward we should have like if that's going to be the type of question or style of question we should have somebody from like lpa or you know somebody who or even like ryan somebody who knows a lot of the minutia and can just like bust that out like we need our own version of like a like a Google that you can just throw any of those types of like a show detail producer. oriented questions. Yeah. I, wow. I, the other day I seriously, I couldn't, I won't, I won't say the particular numbers in case my kids do listen, but I couldn't remember the exact date of one of my children's like births, their birthday. I was like, I know it's either the like 14th or the 16th, but I always reverse them in my head kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. So a question yeah, like man. which 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 or how many have vocals which don't i'm i'm gonna pretend like i can make up an answer but it's not going to be a very trustworthy one <laughs> um there are oh my god there are so many questions in the questions for lp channel um with bright horizons there we can knock out a couple of quick ones will there be any more lincoln park funko pops um i guess we have two don't we we have a hybrid theory one and a reanimation one um so we don't have a plan for more at this point but well what we've would got be a good, them. Uh, next one right i feel like we i feel like we missed an opportunity there to do a meteora meteor guy funko it's too bad they won't do like a Funko that's like kneeling down like the spray can, like the, the cover. Um, what was the other one? There was I just saw another one we could add, add we could do real quick. Uh, what was the inspiration for the name Meteora? What is actually that's a question for you guys. What do you remember Meteora? What how do you remember us arriving at the name Meteora for the for the album? I remember being on tour, I believe we're in Europe, and seeing a travel magazine. Uh, and there was this really cool island in Greece, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I, th I think it was Greece. Could have been Italy. but um, No, I think it was Greece. It was Greece. Yeah, there, there was that really cool, it's just very picturesque. It was a big mon monastery on on the island. That um, So you basically see a rock with a really cool building on it and uh i think there was just something really cool and mysterious about it that lent itself to a story and the name of the island was meteora um so without no knowing anything about it it just 
led to a curiosity about the place. And um, I think I think at that time we're just always hungry for new concepts um, and different inspirations. So that was just it automatically got uh, became a candidate for having whether it be an album title or a song title or something, that was just something that we bookmarked from that moment on. Mm-hmm. I yeah, remember, that's how I, I remember that it that period, way too. I remember in that time period for me that we, I just felt like, and maybe, maybe we never even got much better, but I felt like we were so bad at naming things. Like our process to name things was, it was just like, somebody tries to be serious and then everybody just throws in jokes for a long time. And then we just end up giving up and having to come back to it like the next day. And then that process repeats for forever that (laughs) in the process of trying to name that album, I remember that I remember Meteora as being kind of like the first idea that came in that was kind of like, Oh, okay. That seems like it has potential and, and is cool and doesn't, already like it's got its own clean slate doesn't push any buttons yet in my head it's got its own clean slate to be whatever it is and at the same time like it doesn't have anything else competing against it because all the other ideas or names were just us trying to make each other laugh and be ridiculous um right (laughs) so so it it almost won as like a candidate that runs unopposed yeah, we yeah. were really, we could never, I think that was the, the low point in terms of us naming things, right. like wh- in terms of our process of naming things. Like we were so, every time we got on the subject of naming anything, it took us, how, how long do you think we'd stay on, stay serious? Less than a minute. It was like literally like two suge- two serious suggestions. Oh, what about this thing? And then somebody would be like, oh, that's interesting. What about this thing? And then it'd be like jokes. All it would take was for somebody to try to, to say something that was real and for somebody else to just give it a, hey, I don't really like it or a meh. And then it was, then, you're, then we were done. It was straight up to like, what if it was shake ya patootie? You know, like just... And we're okay. This is the end of any potential productivity here. Like we're now just throwing out ridiculous. Yeah, we're tired. Oh, we'd make fun of. Well, yeah, and then somebody would suggest something like earnestly, and we would immediately make a like a joke version of whatever they suggested. Right. And we and I think we realized during that period of time like that was a bad habit to get into it was like it was it was a bit like it was, it was a little insulting like a little bit like rude to the other other person and it's like kind of the start of a bad culture and i know that we like intentionally tried to get away from doing that but we still did it um i i, th- I think chester was the ringleader and as far as uh Taking it to a, a bad, bad place. <laughs> oh, really? I th- yeah. I think it was you. I think it was you, buddy. I think no, you I mean, and I, Chester. I, you and Chester would, went back and forth. I would take most it there, the but time. Chester would keep it there. A hundred percent. That's true. Yeah, that's a hundred percent true. Yeah. He he. Because <laughs> well, the the problem was, I think for me, the I could see on your. Like, even if you two were trying to, like, not say anything, I could see on your face that you were thinking it. And so immediately it it devolved. Because it was like, even though you weren't saying anything off topic or whatever, I knew it was about to go there or that you wanted to take it there. And so it's just like, oh, forget it. We can't name anything. (laughs) Um, This is a really funny tangent. Um. Somebody asked, Mike2202 says, what's the story behind Lost? Um, Well, the story behind the song is that, I mean, basically, like, we just started looking for things for this Meteora um, box set, and and it, we found it, and I kind of forgot how finished it was. Like, I remember that the song existed. I just didn't realize we got all the way to, like, it was a mixed, finished song. 
Right. Yeah, I think that that was, I knew that there was, you know, I knew that this song existed as well, but I didn't re realize until we kind of got back into it that we had taken it all the way through the process in the studio and that it literally was kind of like in the running and just didn't necessarily fit perfectly in the album. It was just a little bit outside of, I guess, the margin for what we wanted to make the album. But I, yeah, I had no idea either that it went through the entire process with everything else. Yeah, yeah I think I, f I feel like we had uh, a song or two that had the same type of feel, or at least at the at that time we thought it felt similarly enough. So. Uh, as far as us wanting to represent a spectrum of different different vibes and energy, like that bucket was filled at that moment. So we just we just voted on whatever that other song was. Mm -hmm. I, I like vaguely remember also that after Hybrid Theory, we had you know a couple different things that had popped up that needed potentially like an extra track or something that was previously unreleased. Like there was a, um, like a specialty album maybe for Japan for that market that had, you know, and, and with that also we did uh, my December for like a K rock release and all this stuff. And I remember thinking, I was thinking a little bit at Meteora, like even if a, this song or a couple songs, even if we don't put them on this album, there's always going to be spots where we, that's going to be awesome to have them and use them. And then I just think that we never used it. Like we just kind of pressed forward and it, it never circled back to that. Mm. There was another question um, about how much, what, how, if there was any retouching done to the music for the Meteora uh, 20 project. I, I, I think the answer is basically, basically, as little as possible was the was the the kind of approach like i in theory we didn't want to change the shape of like what we had made so when we were putting this package together there were um you know there were songs that were just two track like left right like an mp3 there were songs that were basically like an mp3 and then there was a there were a few that um seemed like they needed something they needed like an adjustment in order to be more done so that was only two songs um and so i took those we had multis for those so i took the multis and i basically mixed them because they weren't like assembled and mixed and then uh we just mastered the whole thing to to kind of for it to all sound cohesive so uh tried not to touch them try to keep it like the you know the the sound of the the music um consistent with the well like appropriate for the for the time um somebody asked like at one point if we would like if there's a reason to like do remastered versions of like any of our albums and i actually i think the the sound of mastering hasn't really changed that much since hybrid theory and so remastering isn't really a thing um at least for our Linkin park albums yeah maybe if there's like a like down the line, if there's a new technology where it really seems important and appropriate, yeah. we would yeah. do it. But you, I mean, you, that that being said, we've talked about doing you know surround audio, mm. but you know, aside from the 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 novelty of it, it's uh, you know, I I think there's a certain intention that we did um, writing the songs that were coming out of the speakers the way it did. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I, I think we actually did did some experiments on some stuff where um, separating the sound and, and making things more spatial didn't make the song sound better. It would, uh, you know, in some ways, it lost some of the, the, the magic of the impact of the dynamics of the song. Yeah. Do you remember DVD audio when, when they did? Yeah. The label actually, did that technology. The the fun one that was actually when we did um, a surround mix for reanimation, and that was that was very specific to, uh, I guess the the DVD players and you know kind of what video game like Xboxes and stuff were doing, so that was more like that was more like a fun like 
added thing. Yeah. Because there was because the, the the intention of that remix album was to be radical. So there was a lot of fun stuff on that. But if anybody I, in the in, in the chat who's listening wants to check that out, Joe's talking about the it, it was they called it at the time a a a, a DVD audio release so you can find it's in the format of a dvd like you have to play it on a 5.1 or i think at the time it would have been 5.1 not like 7.1 or whatever was it called like super dvd or something like that or i thought it was called dvd audio yeah you, i'm wrong. right well okay so yeah. so i'm sure yeah. the chat will right. figure it out like go go look for if you if you want to check that out you can probably find a used one somewhere on ebay or something um what was the question here? Oh, there was actually a question. Let me just go off. Oh, um, there's an off topic question. And then, and I actually want to address a couple of other questions. There's a couple people have asked about, are we doing new music? What's going on? So there's some folks that have showed there that are showing up for the, for the, in the discord here who aren't up to speed on what's happening this week or whatever. Uh, so yeah, welcome. Thank you guys for joining us. It is, uh, we are doing a 20th anniversary uh, re-release of the album Meteora. We have a brand new song that is an, uh, uh, a, an unreleased, never before heard Linkin Park song from 2003 called Lost. Uh, the music for that is now on Spotify, now on Apple Music, anywhere, we, any DSP where you listen to music. Um, it is, uh, there's a video up, brand new video on YouTube. Go check that out. Um, and the, you know, the box set, the 20th anniversary of Meteor comes out on April 7th. Um, the, in the meantime, uh, we'll be doing some stuff like this, you know, chatting with you guys. Um, and actually that leads me to the other question that got asked. Somebody no, uh, was, was paying attention when I did a couple interviews this week uh, and I mentioned, what I've been doing on the side, which is I've been producing and writing for some other people, but I actually have a, a solo song that uh, I didn't intend to come out this month, but it got um, put in the new Scream movie. So I have a song called In My Head. It's a solo song. And it it's since it's in the movie, it's coming out with the movie. Um, in the next month, I think is, I think. Um, so yeah, you guys are going to get brand new Lincoln Park, brand new Mike Shinoda, and probably some other things. I mean, actually you're going to get more than just this new one Lincoln Park song. Cause you're going to get the other songs that are on Meteor 20. Um, so, okay. So let me look through. So are you guys looking at any of the questions and the questions for LP channel? No, nah, not me. It's it's a little overwhelming. There's a lot. Yeah, I'm not super familiar with Discord to be able to kind of dive into that. Yeah, I just have it open. I just have it open on my phone, and I'm just like looking through stuff here. Um, I get somebody said um, they thought that there was a demo called "Take Away My Pride," and they were wondering if Lost is a if that was an early version of take away my pride i have no idea I, I feel like take away my pride might have been a song title that the fans came up with so i if we didn't name it that then i don't know what that is uh do you guys have any idea does that ring a bell for you guys um Not for me. i guess no I, I mean are those lyrics even in that song? I don't recall. I, I, I don't think they are. Um, yeah, there must be something else. Take away my pride. Hmm. Yeah. We, do you remember when we did the art wall for Meteora? Joe, it was me and you and Frank and Boris did the, did the majority of the painting. And then once we were at a pretty good spot with it, the other guys came in and they added some things. And I remember Chester wrote a bunch of lyrics on there that some of which didn't make the album like they were they were in progress lyrics that didn't show up so you know i don't know if that that type of a thing you know if, if the lyrics came from something like that or what 
But that, that was just a weird, I, I remember when he did it, I was like, oh man, don't write those on there. Those aren't like, some of those are not going to make the record. <laughs> there's a, so I'm looking it up. There is a YouTube video. There's like a little snippet or Chester scene thoughts that take away my pride. Mm. Um, but I don't I have no idea what that's from. Hmm. I'm looking it up too. Um, it's from it's somebody, from an LPTV episode. Yeah, it's from a what? LPTV episode. Oh, got it. But it's definitely not this song. Yeah. How do I look at the questions? Um, if you go on the left side of the, the Discord window, are you on your phone or on your laptop? Um, computer. So on the left side, uh, if you scroll down to right above the stage under band Q&A, there's a hashtag questions for LP and you can click on that and go check them out on there. Um, somebody asked what made us pick the image, pick the cover, of Meteora. Pick that particular photo. I don't know. I just liked I there's something about it's intuitive for me. Like the image of, of Boris, the image of Boris and the spray can in front of the wall. Just it just was a Hmm. Yeah, I think I just remember, uh, you know, we had done that big art day or two with the wall, and then there was just random stuff being captured all throughout the process. And I, I think the whole idea of that was to create, you know, art um, and also potentially get, obviously, an album cover and whatever else out of it that we could. And then just seeing, a handful of the different uh there's so many different images and ideas that came out of it but i think we all gravitated towards that particular image pretty quickly uh and then the process of just kind of really narrowing in on which one would actually you know eventually be the cover dude you guys i have a i have an i have a i have some very exciting news for some of the like hardcore hardcore fans i just found the clip that they're talking about about that thoughts to take away my pride and it is indeed lost it was a it was a vocal it was a lyric that we were playing around with and i think it was over the bridge and yeah just like trying it out over the bridge and he sang it and then he was like oh, i messed it up and he like yelled and then lost was thoughts to take away my pride and that, that lyric got removed. It just wasn't as good as what we ended up with. So there we go. There's your answer. We have we have a uh, resolution on this on this. This is one of the this is one of the uh in the fan base, there's like certain songs and demos that they're like, where is this one? We knew this existed, like it's a mystery. And this is one of the it, like um picture board. This is one of the ones that they're they've been you know, focused you just, on. So, Mike, you just solved the mystery in real time. That was very exciting. Yeah. No, I didn't realize that was, I didn't realize, I had never found the link that they were talking about, like a specific clip. And um, yeah, yeah, this song is lost, is that song. Crazy. See? Um, yeah. All right. I knew, I knew we, I knew we could do something right. In this, so in this yeah, kind of this has been. Yeah. If, if nothing else happens today, that that realization is a big deal. That is a really fun. Um, that's, that's we great. solved we solved that mystery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Um, I've played Fortnite. Have you guys guys played Fortnite?
<laughs> Dude, yeah, I've, I've, I, I, you know, the bit. thing for me, the reason I stopped is because this, the like little sweaty builder dudes who run around and build like humongous empire state buildings every five seconds. That's, I can't play that. I can't do that. That was super annoying. <laughs> I think the technical term for that, Joe, is being old. Yeah. I'm, I only I only know that because I, I have the same thing. I get a little <laughs> I get a little like car sick. Joe, there's this. Uh... <laughs> Do you guys remember the LPU album? Mmm, cookies. Of course. Do you remember the fan backlash from that? <laughs> putting that out? <laughs> I, I, I knew there was going to be backlash because there is for anything, especially if it's going to be a little bit different, but. That obviously was very different, and I didn't. I don't think I realized at the time how there had been a, there was an expectation of the LPU CD being a particular thing, and when that wasn't met, I feel like a lot of people misunderstood that as us like giving them a little bit of a middle finger. When in reality, I felt like, especially, I remember me you mike and chester just sitting around and laughing so hard and thinking that everybody else is gonna like love this because they don't get to see this side of our sense of humor very often and then in some ways for some people that was such a backfire like it was such a miss <laughs> they i remembered people posted in on the message board or whatever of lpu they said this album is a slap in the face just a slap in the face for the fan base. I was just like, you guys are taking this way too seriously. <laughs> slap in the fan face. Slap in the fan face. Um, yeah, I remember doing the, um, like when we were on tour, uh, I remember doing the album art for that, that, that insane, like, cover. rainbow cover art. With uh -huh. with you with all you guys, but like in particular, Chester kept coming. Obviously, he kept coming over and being like, "Oh, do this, like do this," and I'd like take a picture of him, his face, and like put it on the. I, I remember taking the picture of his face in like some airport somewhere and putting it on the cover. Yeah, <laughs> I just I remember we were flying somewhere. I mean, you were flying, sitting next to each other, and I just kept telling you like ridiculous things that I wanted to see you try to make in that, uh, was it Illustrator? I can't remember what yeah, it was you were using. But it would just be, I was just like, all right, uh, you're like, okay, what do I do next? And, uh, I want to see like an elephant. And then it'd be like, and give him a broadsword. Okay, right. let's do like a, let's do like an Arizona style cactus and like just r like random whatever came into my head. And then we would just laugh whenever you'd create like a little cartoon version of it yeah i'm looking at people, the cover right now it's so dumb <laughs> people don't i don't i think people also don't realize probably how fast and good you are at that to where i was telling you like make one of those characters and in like two minutes there'd already be a pretty done version of it <laughs> and so we just did that for 20 minutes and you had like <laughs> oh no dave are you there yeah you lost you. You oh there there? you are there yeah we just lost you okay. at the end of that okay <laughs> 
Okay. I'm shocked though that anybody could get to could get a CD from Lincoln Park that's is called Sweet Hamster Like Jewels from America exclamation point and expect that it was gonna be like yeah, you know, sound like hybrid theory. Like I don't understand what anybody how they missed that step. I don't, that made no sense to me. Um <laughs> right. <laughs> That's funny. Um I was uh I was DMing on a on a different note. There are a bunch of questions about um about the lost video. Um I was DMing with uh, Emily, uh, um, for the for the folks listening, that's a people pleaser. The video was made. Uh, the directors in charge of the video uh, were uh, people pleaser and uh, Mashe Kushiara, and um, Joe and I. Um, I guess, there were actually a couple of other uh, like kind of groups in charge of like some VFX and AI stuff, but. The word has gotten around on on you know Twitter uh, about this AI Lincoln Park video, and I realized that for some people who don't understand how videos get made or how where AI is at or how AI, AI works at this point, that they thought we literally just like text prompted like typed Lincoln Park anime video and it like just spit out this video <laughs> like. That would be incredible if we could actually do that. But they were the people were like trash talking it on Twitter as if that's a thing. Um, it is not a thing. <laughs> um, I would love. I let's be clear. I would love to be able to type some text prompts into a computer and get incredible imagery out and be able to like put that together into a video. That'd be spectacular. That is not what, um, happened. And furthermore, right, 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 right. Well, not, but not also not only that, but there's the, the concern about like AI that pulls from like steals from other artists. And so let me just be very clear. And for everybody listening, if you see this garbage online, you can help us out a lot by letting them know politely that is not how the video was made, that it was not trained on other people's artwork. So the video was made by, uh, in, in conjunction with the artists I just, I just told you about, they are all, the, the video basically has like three main components. There is the anime in the video, the Linkin Park footage in the video and the AI. The anime in the video is original art from Mashe and in particular from Mashe, but also with, with People Pleaser. And then the footage in the video is original footage. So we've got original art and original footage. And then the AI acts as like an effect where they trained the AI to look at the original anime and make the original video footage look like the anime. So it's basically when people complain about, oh, AI is like not you know original material. Like this is an application of AI where that actually solves that. So I was really when I was talking to Emily about it, it was like um, I was actually really pleased at how um, like that her philosophy about it was really um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like I liked her philosophy about it. She wanted it to focus it on original material, not on anything that wasn't. So that's just a just a heads up on that that topic. Um, the yeah. <laughs> Emily's um, like like final uh, her her drop the mic moment about that conversation was. If they think it's so easy, then they should do it. <laughs> right? Yeah, if it's if it's as easy as like mid-journey, if you just type your type some words into a, a 
Discord channel and spits out a video, then knock yourself out and you go, you go make a video. Um, I, I kind of, my take on any reaction that was like that was just kind of like, if you want, if you need to choose to be upset about something, then there you go. Like, I just feel hey. like. Hang on a second. Um, some people are saying they can't hear Joe. Oh boy. <laughs> Great. Um, I can hear. I can hear Joe. Yeah, I can too. Joe, will you go uh, on your on your Discord uh, in the in in Discord? Go on the on the left side under stage. Click on stage real quick. Well, are you? Are, I thought you said you were on your laptop. Well, okay. So, so, and your phone. Go open up the open up Discord and scroll and like swipe, swipe left to right, and then click on stage. And make sure that your like your mic is is unmuted and that you've entered the. Oh boy. Okay, there we go. Can everybody hear me and can everybody hear Joe? Let's see if we fixed that. Okay, some people can hear, some people can hear Joe and some people can't. If you can't hear Joe, um, close Discord and open it back up and see if you can, see if that fixes it. I thought, um, I thought, which is not nice, but it, I thought what you were going to say was, if you can't hear Joe, then consider yourself lucky. But I, I thought that's what you were going to say, Mike. And that, <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got to, I've got to get moving on to the next thing. But before I go, I just wanted to say hello to the current that I see twenty seven hundred people or so that are in here. So, hi, hey, cupcake, hi, RC, hi, Katoda, hi, Wilder, hi. MPC high, high Azure Path, high Punk Emo six six six, high Resurrector. But I gotta, That's I gotta really... bounce, guys. All right, Thank Dave. You, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Phoenix Barrel. Um. The Discord. I'm looking at. I'm. I'm. I'm I, let's do like a couple more questions. How many more questions do you want to do, Joe? All right. Um. Yeah. If you can't hear Joe, restart your Discord. Um. Do 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 do. Oh, I've got to scroll way up because they were responding in the questions for LP section. Um. Joe, what do you remember about the rapology songs that we did? I mean, they said, "Are you have you ever thought about remastering some of those old tracks from that era?" I, I think I don't even know if we could. That's a deep cut. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to ask you a different question. Infinity TX wants to know what Transformers robots were your favorites? Wasn't that a really big one? A really big one.
Mm. I always loved Starscream. Starscream as a toy, but not as a, I think in the, it wasn't in the TV show, wasn't he really annoying? Yeah, that sucked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you have a favorite thing in the Meteora 20 box set, Joe? Favorite song, favorite clip, favorite item? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, uh, where, where, what, what was the initial, what was the question? What did I ask you? Oh, the favorite thing. Yeah, that same song, I think. Fighting Myself is my, is, by the way, uh, uh, a piece of, of, uh, like a, like a, um, exclusive alpha, uh, about that song. That one actually has rapping on it. So, that's a little different from Lost. Um, a little bounce to it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, somebody asked if you still like frogs. <laughs> can you tell them, Joe, could you, now that we're so far away from, we're so many years past the frog thing, can you please explain, how, tell the story of the frogs to, to, to these guys, to these people. There was a moment when you were like, why can we please stop? It was like, why are they doing this every night, bringing so many frogs? And you did get, it was too much, like at a certain point. Because everybody was, every, every 
meet and greet every time we met fans they were like all bringing you frog <laughs> stuffed animals and stickers and all this shit Yeah, they were, they were being very nice. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think, I feel like I wasn't the one who said that you loved frogs. I don't think I was the one. Yeah, that's, that's true. It could have been. And, Anna was Anna was into frogs. She did love frogs back then. We had a frog at one point, like a tree frog or something. Um, actually, she had two. But... <laughs> yeah. Rainbow Connection? <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Appreciate that. They are there. The, if anybody followed me on Twitch, that definitely came up. I don't know. There were we had a, there were a couple streams where we where they got me doing voices and it was like quality, quality Twitch streaming. Um, oh, wow. Thank you, Joe. That's, that is premium, like Twitch content. I have not been streaming, I have not been streaming I mean, barely at all. It's just been very busy. Um, but if I get back to it. <laughs> uh, uh, That's true, huh? Um, the the donut king. If they uh, they said that they saw, excuse me, saw an interview where we mentioned that that Lost wasn't on Meteora. The song Lost didn't make Meteora because it was too similar to Numb. Oh. Do you do you think it's similar, or do you think how would you describe it? Sorry, uh -oh. I cut up for a sec. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Do you think it's um, Do you think it's similar? Um, I could see why we would say that at the moment because um, I think if you look at all the elements of what we were trying to do, and I think we like part of it was like we, you know, there were some things that we wanted to prove at the time as far as versatility and the type of music and the variety of music that uh, we wanted. We wanted to be known that we could make. Um, I could see what, and I don't remember exactly, but I could see why we would come to the conclusion of like, okay, this is similar. And then also like, I think there was something about, maybe it wasn't a major thing, but maybe it played into it a little bit as far as if we put the song out, because it's a, it's a great song that has a certain quality to it more attention would be given to that than some of the other vibes that we would want to get out. I don't think that would come into play today, but, um, you know, I remember having some of those conversations back then. Mm. Um, Jesus. They were saying that like your, your mic has been going in and out. I'm so, this is so strange. Um, uh, cause I can hear you fine. I don't know why they can't, but. Um, yeah, they can hear you now. So, 
Oh, okay. Can you start over like what you were talking about at the very beginning of this um, Q and A? Can you just tell us all of the stories again? Yeah. Um, so um, I don't really love frogs, but I think it's okay that people think that I do. But it would be great if it was more known that I love uh, CGC Slab 9.8 comics from Silver and Golden Age. I like that more <laughs> than frogs. Have them, have them bring, people should bring very expensive comic books to you. Yes. Got it. Yes. Great. All right. Fantastic. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll broaden it out and say just very expensive anything that has high trade value. <laughs> Joe will accept <laughs> uh, expensive time pieces, expensive jewelry. Yeah. yeah. Um, Stocks are actually, typically. you would, you, I say jewelry, but just because it's like a thing that came to my mind is expensive, but I don't think you, I don't, you don't ever, have you ever gone through a phase where you've like worn like, not like a watch, but like jewelry? Well, I, I guess what the watches are kind of jewelry for men. So that, yeah. uh, that counts. Um, yeah. It's, I mean, some, I mean, I went through like a little chrome hearts, little phase and that type of stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about um, that. Yeah, but it's just, I, I actually like jewelry a lot, but um, it's kind of like, it gets in the way of, of movement. So that's yeah. kind of, that's kind of what stops me from wearing. And plus it's like, it's a expensive habit. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, I still like keep like cer certain things that have like sentimental value, you know, yeah. things that are given to me by special people, you know, things like that. Oh, man. What about you? How's um, your bling game? My bling game? Yeah, I don't... I don't have any bling. I just I, picked up... I like, uh, um, I like watches. That's about it. Yeah, I just got one of those uh, Omega swatches. That's mm. kind of kind of cool. But, uh... Yeah, the... Uh, I remember the people at the swatch store being kind of mean. It's like, <laughs> I th I feel like they're um, they don't like selling these watches because everyone's asking for it, and you come in and ask for it, and they're just really annoyed because it doesn't help them out any any more than just coming in to buy a swatch watch. But you know, that's I won't give specifics and call anyone out, but that's the experience I've I've had. And then. Uh, when you go look, when you go those like, look at nice watches, the expensive ones, they're like kind of too cool for school because they know you're not going to buy it or they think you're not going to buy it. We have a question. There was a question a while ago here uh, by Peter Parker. Who Did he asked, pick up? What? Huh? <laughs> What did you say? Did he pick Pep? Peter Parker. He uh he swung oh. by. And... Oh shoot! I'm supposed to be on this other call. Let me uh. I gotta oh, go. No, no. Sorry, sorry guys. All right. All right. Bye. Okay. See you, Joe. All right, guys. This Discord uh, stage has been a a real mess. Um, I don't know with what is uh wrong with the the with the stage thank you guys for tuning in um yeah meteora box set will be out uh at the end of the first week of april and um loft new song from the meteora era unearthed on a hard drive and polished up for your consumption is out now on your Spotify's and Apple and Amazon musics. Um, definitely go check out the video on YouTube for Lost. Um, and be on the lookout for more surprises. This, this um, launch is not, the, the finish line of this launch was not the video that just came out. The, the launch is ongoing.
keep an eye on linkinpark.com and keep an eye on our socials and stay here hanging out in the discord we will see you guys around um i'm i usually flip flop back and forth between this one and my my Shinoda discord um thank you guys very much i'll be i'll hang out in the general chat for a minute um but we'll see you around